Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to animate bouncy text in After Effects. So let's start. Now let's add a text layer and type bounce. So I'm going to use the anchor point mover tool and move it at exactly at the center and put the text layer exactly at the center of the composition window. Okay, now we're going to separate each of the letters in a separate layer. For that, I'm going to use a plugin called Decompose Text. It's a free plugin. I'm going to provide the link in the description. You can download it from there. So click on Decompose and all the layers have been separated for each of the letters. But one thing that you can notice is that if I select and move P, the bounding box is for the whole world. So for that, let's max out for each of the layers. So I'm going to put a rectangle and simply mask out the layer so that we can work with only the area we want. Okay, now we can select all the layer again, use the anchor point mover tool and move the anchor point exactly at the center of the layer. So let's solo out one of the layer and we are going to solo out only P and we are going to animate the bounce first. So for the bounce, we can simply add a ball bounce kind of an animation only in Y axis and it is going to add a very nice bounce animation for each of the letters. So press P to open the position and I'm going to separate the dimension. Only work with Y axis. So put a keyframe on Y axis and then for the first bounce, let's give around 10 frames. And simply move it above somewhat like this outside the composition window. Press F9 to erase the keyframe. Of course, we are going to change the motion graph, but we are going to do it later. So again, we are going to jump on to around, let's say, 8 frames. First of all, let's select all these keyframes, time reverse keyframe. And we are going to slightly move it above somewhat like this so it is going to rebounce after hitting the ground it is going to bounce again now again jump on to 8 frame copy and paste this frame then again jump on to next 6 frame slightly move above somewhat like this again 6 frame copy and paste this this one I think for this one, we can slightly move it above somewhat like this, as well as for this one. Now, after that, we're going to jump on to next four frame and slightly move it above somewhat like this. Then again, copy and paste the initial keyframe. Then next two frames slightly move it above. Then again for two frame we can copy and paste the initial frame. So if we check out the animation, we can see a bounce but it's not looking that good. That's because we have to change the graph editor a bit. So for a bounce at this portion it is going to accelerate at a very high speed because it's falling under gravity so we can decrease the ease at this point and slightly increase at this point so same with this one as well and at this point it is going to have an is and we are going to continue this curve throughout the motion path
okay so this is how the whole graph is going to look it's a speed graph and for a bounce animation it is going to look somewhat like this okay let's check out our animation yeah i like it so we're going to continue with this one simply copy these keyframes on solo the layer and paste it in all of these layers so it is going to animate somewhat like this and we're going to offset this letters by around two frames all right so with this our bounce animation is done we can even just make it even better by adding some eco animation in this one as well so let's select all these layers together pre-comp it together let's name it text now we're going to add another effect called eco go to effects and presets panel type in eco and apply this effect now for the eco timing we have to give it around 0 0.0003 around let's check it and for the number of echoes it should be maybe 80 let's give it 100 and let's check out all right so here you can see something over here now after that we are going to add a fill animation fill effect over here and let's change the color to some different color all right now we also want to see the white color of the text now for that you can either duplicate this text and remove this all this effect from it and put this layer with the effect below it or else you can simply add another effect called cc composite and here you can see that white colored text as well so i think we can increase the eco size a bit or eco time let's give it five or four and let's give the sample or the number of echoes to around 120 all right so now let's preview the animation all right so after settling down you can see some green border over here you can fix it up very easily by adding simple choker and we are going to increase the value to around let's give it one yeah now it's gone but i can see it very little over here as well so let's give it around 1.4 and here it's gone now let's check out okay so like this you can and in after effects so i would highly recommend you to try it on your own and if you have any doubt regarding you know in the comment section i would be happy to help you out so that is it for this lesson if you liked it then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson make sure to comment down i would be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified until then goodbye